All right, this is fifth grade module three, lesson two, and we're going to be making equivalent fractions. Um, this is going to be largely kind of like uh, the, the idea of um, oh, like taking an improper fraction and having students turn that into a mixed number. But the idea is we're going to do it by teaching number sense rather than just some rote algorithm. So teachers, if you don't exactly understand why we're doing it this way, it's, it's going to be because we're trying to build number sense uh, rather than just teach kids a rule. So the directions say show each expression on a number line. And that's the important thing is this whole idea of understanding fractions is going to be based on the number line. Lots of research says that uh, if we do it on a num number line, students understand it on a number line, it's going to be super duper powerful. So let's get going. And so we're, we're going to label this side 0, and then, oh, we could label this side 1. And then the fact that our denominators are 9s tell us that between 0 and 1, there needs to be 9 intervals. There's 9 pieces. So I'm going to first cut that into thirds, into three equal pieces. Now I'm going to cut each of those into three. So now we have our nine intervals. A lot of students want to use this nine here and create nine lines, but really we need eight lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines to create nine intervals, because it's really the intervals that we're looking for. So from here to here, is one ninth, two ninths, three ninths, four ninths, five ninths, six ninths, seven ninths, eight ninths, nine ninths. So it's kind of like a frog. I always imagine a frog hopping. And that's what I'm counting when I'm counting fractions, is the intervals, not, not the, these lines here. So we're going to express four ninths plus one ninth with a number line. And oh, I'll do it in blue. So we're going to start with four ninths. So uh, we're going to start at 0, and we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's 4 ninths. So we just went 4 ninths. And now this 1 ninths means we're going to go 1 ninth more. And that puts us at 5 ninths. So 4 ninths plus 1 ninths equals 5 ninths. Now, question D is essentially the same thing, and I chose this one because I thought this would be unfamiliar for a lot of teachers and a lot of parents. So what does this two times three-fifths? It's a, you know, a lot of people might say, why are we talking about multiplication so soon? Well, that's because it's not really multiplication. I mean, it is, but it's super easy. So let's start with zero, and let's call this one, and except I want to do it up at the top, one, and then let's call this two. Now, because all of our denominators are fifths, I'm going to cut everything into fifths. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And so remember, make sure students understand we're counting intervals. So one interval, two intervals, three, four, five. So this five doesn't mean cut, draw five lines. This five means actually we're going to draw four lines so that we can create five intervals intervals between 0 and 1, and then 5 intervals between zero, uh, 1 and 2. All right. So this 2 times 3 fifths means we're going to go, here's a 3 fifths, and then 1, 2, 3, here's another 3 fifths. So that's what that 2 times 3 fifths means. It means go 3 fifths twice. And then we're going to go 1 more fifth, one more fifth. Now, where are we going to end up at? Well, there's a couple of answers we could we could say. We could say that we're going to end up at, we're going to start at zero. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one way we could call it seven fifths. But another way that we could call it is we could say, well, we're at zero. We went all the way to one plus we did two extra little hops. So we could call this one and two fifths. So either answer will be fine, either seven fifths or one and two fifths. 
All right, and now express each fraction as the sum of two or three equal fractional parts. Now, uh, and then rewrite as a multiplication equation. So it's teachers, you might be wondering, why are we writing stuff as multiplication? It's because it's going to lead into some future topics that our fifth graders are going to be studying. So we definitely do want to talk about this as multiplication. We don't want to just skip it. So we have 6 elevenths, and we're supposed to write it as the sum of 2 or 3 equal fractional parts. Now in this case, we can do it as either way. We could say 6 elevenths is equal to 2 elevenths plus 2 elevenths plus 2 elevenths, in which case we could write this as 3 times 2 elevenths. Or we could have done this one as 3 elevenths plus 3 elevenths, and that's the same thing as 2 times 3 elevenths. All right. Now, we had a choice on that one. For 9 fourths, we don't have much of a choice. 9 fourths, you can't cut it up into 2 equal parts. We can only cut it up into 3 equal parts. So that's going to be 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths, which is equal to 3 times 3 fourths. And now, ideally, we're supposed to show this on a number line. So what am I going to do? Oh, let's do, so let's show this 6 elevenths as 3 times 2 elevenths. Let's show this on a number line. So on our number line, we would have 0. And then we're going to go, as you can remember, up here, we're going to go three times, we're going to do two elevenths. So we're going to do two elevenths three times. So let's get back down here and let's go two elevenths three times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So the idea is why did I go so far? Because I know that that's zero. So this is one eleventh, two, three, four, five elevenths, six, seven, eight elevenths, nine, ten. 11 elevenths. So this line right here equals one whole. Oh yeah, let's see, did I do that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, so that is 11 elevenths, which is equal to 1. And then, since the direction said we're supposed to show 3 times 2 elevenths, I could do this one down here, but I'm going to choose to do this one up here. 3 times 2 elevenths, and we're going to show that on our number line. So we're going to do 2 elevenths, and another 2 elevenths, and another 2 elevenths, and that gives us, gets us to 6 elevenths. So I just modeled 3 times 2 elevenths. All right. Now, if we wanted to do This one right here, 3 times 3 fourths. Yeah, 3 times 3 fourths is equal to 9 fourths. What we're going to do is let's scroll down. 9 fourths is equal to 3 times 3 fourths. Let's model that. So I'm going to draw my number line. Here's 0. 1, 2, 3, 4 fourths. So that's 4 fourths. That's 1. 1, 2, 3, 4 fourths. So that's 8 fourths, which is equal to 2, 1, 2, 3, 4 fourths, so that's 12 fourths, and that's equal to 3. And so we're going to do 3 times 3 fourths, so that means we're going to go 3 fourths, another 3 fourths, and another 3 fourths, and that puts us at 9 fourths, which is right here, but 9 fourths is the exact same thing as 2, because you could go from 0 to 1 to 2 plus 1 fourth. So we could say 9 fourths, or we could say 2 and 1 fourth. All right, express each of the following as the sum of a whole number and a fraction, and we're supposed to show these on number lines. Well. We're supposed to show C and D on a number line, but I'm going to show you A and B on the number lines. 
and I'm going to make it a little nicer than the last slide. Okay, so nine fifths. So on, we're going to show that on a number line. So we're going to start with zero, and because the denominator is five, that means every five intervals equals one whole. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. So that's five fifths. That's equal to one whole. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that makes it 10 fifths, that's equal to 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that's another whole, which puts us at 15 fifths, which is 3. So 9 fifths, let's see, right here, there's 9 fifths, and we can see that 9 fifths is equal to 1 whole, plus one, two, three, four intervals. One, one whole plus four fifths. All right, and now let's do seven, uh, seven halves. Okay, so let's get a number line going here. We're gonna start here at zero. Now, because the denominator here is a two, that means every two intervals equals one whole. So one, two, there's two halves, that equals one. One, two, so that's four halves, that equals two. Two halves, that's six halves, that's equal to three. One, two, so that's eight halves, that is equal to four. One, two, that's ten halves, and that's equal to five. Now we're supposed to go to seven halves. So seven halves means we're going to go right here. There's seven halves, and we can see that that's equal to one, two, three holes. So that's equal to three holes plus one little half. And that is fifth grade module three, lesson two where we are using number lines largely to take fractions like seven halves and turning, turn them into whole numbers plus a little extra fraction. Or we're also saying that like three-fourths is equal to one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth, and that's the same thing as three times one-fourth. So a couple of different ways to write equivalent fractions.